Welcome back today guys. We are checking out something pretty cool. A lot of people are thinking about fat bikes right now and we have the Norco Bigfoot 1. So this fat bike is definitely their premium model one. You do not get a full carbon frame but you do get that carbon fiber from fork and it looks really nice. Obviously through axle in this model attachments are not as high as you'd hope like with the amount of mounting holes on that front fork they have little to none but they definitely have a lot down the rest of the frame so you're able to really load it up pretty decently so norco has definitely improved the bigfoot over the past few years you may have seen a few other videos explaining how they've gone to a little more trail oriented design so the head tube is a little steeper reach is more appropriate more normal for a long kind of riding position as opposed to focusing on that adventure kind of bike although you'll still be able to adventure with this it's definitely designed now to be a little bit more of a trail bike so on and off the trail it should perform really really well price spec wise they've got the new shimano xt drivetrain so obviously big 12 speed everyone's expecting that paired with the Praxis front chain ring and it has a 30 tooth on there so it's nothing huge but it'll do a good job of really chugging yourself through that snow or difficult positions. Up on the handlebar they have paired it with an SLX shifter so that will work well but obviously is able to be upgraded if you want. Along with that they've paired it with that really nice death grip so this is probably one of my favorite grips out there. Just works really well, feels good. Cable wise, they have gone with all internal and this includes the rear brake cable. So unlike some brands like Trek, for example, who still have external cables, this one has all internal. The only ones that show are the shifters and the brake line on the underside of the rear triangle, but they disappear internal up the main body. The Bigfoot has definitely improved over the years. They're really sticking with what they know, but also improving it so it'll just be an overall better trail bike. Brake wise, they've gone with the SRAM level. So you have decent stopping power there, all hydraulic. It will run down to a good size rotor and a cable which just follows the, the fork all the way up. It is an internal, but nice wide handlebars on these. So you're able to cut them down if you need, but otherwise it will do pretty much everyone right out of the box. This model does come in an option for a front fork. We don't have that one, but it looks great with this color match. This blue is really sharp. It's definitely a lot darker than the optic, but works really well and will stand out nicely. Tire wise, they've got the V tire, um, snow avalanche on here. So this is a studdable tire, 27 and a half, 4.5 inch wide, both front and rear. Both of them are studdable if you want, and it does add a lot of traction if you're wondering, even in snowy conditions, this adds a huge amount of traction. But with the size of these tires, it's not like it's a full requirement if you're doing pure off-road adventuring. Commuting, it would make a huge difference. So yeah, Norco has definitely changed this up a little bit. Previous years, they were very long, slack, low feeling, more of an adventure bike than actually a trail bike. The new Bigfoots, are really performance machines able to actually handle trails and really agile performance as opposed to load up, go slow and adventure to you know the North Pole. The power spec that the Bigfoot One provides is gonna be really nice to anyone who is used to a high-end power spec or is really gonna use this as a performance machine, not just a simple commuter. Obviously you do get some performance and durability benefits when you go to that higher end part spec, especially in the drivetrain options. It's still hard to know how durable they'll be against sand, salt, and other road kind of grit that would get put down. But I think most people will be satisfied with this. The ride quality is gonna be amazing. It's a relatively lightweight fat bike for how big of a tire set it's got on it. And it looks fantastic. Norco knows how to make fat bikes. They've done a really good job with it over the past couple of years. And I think everyone's gonna be pleasantly surprised with this bike. So that's just a simple little overview of it. Anyone who's looking for a bit more performance 
or has a Norco of 2019 or older, this will be quite the improvement. It'll be quite the impressive ride comparison sakes. You know, the only downside would be is if you are that heavy load up kind of guy. The only downside would be if you are that heavy kind of load up and go on an adventure to the Arctic, maybe this one with the lack of mounting options on that front fork would be a downside. Pretty slim picking, so. Otherwise, looks great and uh, will perform really, really well. All right, hopefully this one helped you out, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.